Let's now talk about various processes of word formation in a language. A language uh, do include various processes or activities uh, which bring in new words in that language. Usually, uh, these uh, processes are quite regular in the formation of words. In order to know how words are formed or which word was formed when, uh, we, we have a branch of knowledge which we call etymology. Etymology is, is made of two words uh, which, which are known as etymon and its meanings are original form and logia which means study of it. Mean, etymology means study of uh, new forms or original forms. Etymology of various words in, in English reveal that there have been multiple sources from which various words came from. There cannot be a single or few sources because words come from various sources and from various languages and cultures. This process of evolution of new words and then the new uses of old words is something which tells us about the creativity of a language. Living languages always add on words and create new meanings of the old words. Let's now talk about some of the common processes which are, uh, which have been used in, in English to form new words. Among them, the coinage is, is the primary source. It means the invention of entirely new words. Though it's, it's one of the most important sources, but at the same time, it is one of the least used sources of new words because it's not that easy to form new words. One of the most typical form of coinage is the invention of trade names which are created by various companies and then they become popular and become a uh, use of a daily purpose. Uh, some of the examples in this regard could be aspirin, uh, nylon, vaseline, granola, etc. And uh, they could be obscure technical terms but uh, later on they become a regular used by the speakers of various languages. Google is, is a very recent example in this regard. Google originally was a misspelling of a word uh, Google and later on it became a name of the company and then these days it is used as, as a verb to, to show uh, an activity which is focused on finding information on internet a regular searching of internet and people usually say I am googling on internet, I am googling this thing on internet. So it is an activity which shows your search on internet. New words are also based on the names of some person, especially uh, new products are named after the persons who, who created uh, or invented those products. And this uh, process is called eponyms. And some of the typical examples of eponyms could be Hoover, Jeans, Spangler, uh, Watt or Volt. Borrowing is another form of a word formation and uh, it means borrowing uh, some words from another language. English is, is full of borrowed words. English has been borrowing from various languages right from Latin to Greek to French to German. And in these days, in, in the era of world Englishes, the Englishes which are being used in various communities of the world, uh, it borrows a lot of words from the local languages. So the process of borrowing is enriching English language a lot these days. Some of the examples of the words which traditionally ha have been included in English language are in front of uh, you on your screen. You could see croissant has been borrowed from French language. Uh, then piano from Italian language, sofa from Arabic, yogurt from Turkish, and tycoon from Japanese language. Other languages also borrow from English language because uh, especially these days it's an international language and is definitely influencing various local languages. And in this regard we could see there are so many words which are these days used by Urdu and English speakers. Uh, and these words originally are from English language. Some examples are supermarketo, which is a, a, a word 
uh, which ha has been borrowed from English language a word supermarket. A special kind of borrowing is calc or loan translation where a uh, word is directly translated word by word into the target language. For example, the word Hawaii Jhaz in Urdu uh, is a direct translation of word uh, aeroplane of English language. Compounding is another form of word formation and it, it consists of uh, bringing together two words to produce a single form. Compounding is very common in English and German language, but it's not that common in French and Spanish. Some of the common examples of compounding could be the words like bookcase, uh, doorknob, fingerprint, sunburn, etc. So there is a huge chunk of words in all the languages which believe in compounding uh, of such words. Uh, a typical example of compound words is, is the compound uh, adjectives. For example, good looking, low paid, and there could be uh, compounds of adjectives as well. And we know, uh, we know uh, the examples of such words could be uh, fast food restaurant or full time job. Such examples could be found not only in English but all languages. The listeners could find such examples in their own languages and therefore they could learn this process more accurately.